So uh, one of the questions is, how can my child cope with exam stress during lockdown? Um, I think first thing is uh, we as parents play a very, very crucial role in, in helping your child cope with your stress, especially during exams and in this lockdown period. Uh, you know, when we as parents create that whole stress around and, and, and tension around and hype it up, that's when the child automatically, you know, feels stressed. So primarily as parents, we ought to relax, calm down, not be stressed about exams ourselves. And that energy will definitely get passed on to the children. Uh, secondly, you know, I think what really helps is now that the schools are beginning, if this can be put as a practice with your child right from the start, right from day one of your school, and that is creating a schedule, you know, a disciplined schedule and where they have time for everything, you know, proper time, play time, proper study time, a time where they do their homework, uh, a time when they are just relaxing. So have a clear cut schedule, you know, set out for them right at the word go. And uh, I think most importantly, when you're creating this schedule, don't do it by yourself, but uh, it's very important that you do it with your child. You know, take their consent, take their ideas. Uh, the idea behind this is the child, when he's involved in creating this timetable, he will feel responsible to make sure that he keeps his side of the bargain. You know, but if you are just going to just just put it on him and say, hey, this is your schedule and you ought to follow this. There's mostly, you know, a feeling of, you know, like they're being uh, burdened. That is what they will feel. So to avoid that and rather have them more involved in, in keeping up with their schedule, it's always nice to involve them in creating their timetable, you know, taking their uh, uh, bits asking them to contribute in that sense and creating a timetable. And then you will see that, you know, the child is more eager to follow it. Uh, also proper, you know, eating habits, sleeping habits, these really help in relieving stress, uh, be it exam time or be it in general, it's always good to have these, you know, uh, a healthy diet and proper sleep time, it really helps. Uh, also avoid last minute preparation. So, you know, you can talk to the kids right at the start and tell them that, hey, don't keep anything towards right towards the end. Avoid procrastination. Avoid saying that, okay, you know, I'm going to do this just two days before the exam. And maybe you can give your life examples, you know, just sit them out, talk to them and tell them, hey, this is what I did once where I tried to do it last minute and it just didn't help. And, uh, you know, I'm sure they, they will pick it up from there because it is a life lesson that somebody known to them and dear to them is, is, is teaching them and, you know, and, and is telling them out of their own experience. So they will surely, surely take it, take it into account and really prepare themselves. And in, you know, in return, in, that's how they want to be uh, stressed. Uh, also, expressing oneself, I think it's very important that uh, the children get that opening, you know, to vent it out whenever they are stressed. So especially close to the exams, if they have these break times, you know, and or times where they can just express themselves, it can be through words where they're speaking it out. It can be through maybe, you know, creative forms like music, like dance, like art, painting, drawing, or maybe writing a poetry or a story, literature, so whatever it is. But, you know, they should have that, um, that, that uh, point or that, moment where they can express themselves that that time where they can express themselves i think that is that is really really crucial and uh, i think the the most important one amongst all of this is the mindset of the students if you really want your child to cope with stress uh the the starting point of it would be the mindset of the child you know when he has a practice of thinking okay what am i learning instead of what am I going to study for the exam? Uh, that itself will be a paradigm shift as to how he looks at exams. You know, then it won't be stress. Then it won't be, oh, I have to study this. But uh, when he is learning in school, he's already going with the attitude of, okay, what am I learning new? And what he learns, it stays with him. And, you know, he's able to put it out during the exam time. And even preparation for the exam doesn't seem stress then. So I think that's very, very important for mindset, the right kind of mindset to hold on to. 
where it's not about what am I going to study or what is the portion for the exam, but more about what am I learning? Uh, you know, that mindset will really, really help.